Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived. Hallelujah. One more time. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Give me one sec here. Let's see here. mistakes around here. Oh yeah. Let's do that. Let's do this. <clears throat> Andre Woods. Good to see you on, sir. Um, Nicole up in here. <clears throat> Miss Robinson in the house. Yosef in the building. Elder. Uh, we got a uh, Coles up in here. Big Mark, uh, Lee's up in here. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I see through scripture study and prayer line on this seventh day. In uh, in uh, December 2020, Trenda Trenda, my sis up in here, big Mark in the house. <clears throat> let's get it in, y'all. Let's let, let's go on and get it in. Let's go. Let's go to uh, First John. First John one. And let's begin at the sixth verse. Jazzy, good to see you all, young lady. First, 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 first John 1 and 6. Look what it says, y'all. It says, It says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Ashante, good morning. Good to see you all. If, if we say, listen to this, you know how people talk, right? What I try to do is help people, right? Because you got you got you know people from all walks of life that they claim they have a relationship with the Most High. You ask people how they're doing, they're quick to say, "I'm blessed," <clears throat> and I gotta a continually shine the light so that so that his children so that his children wake up. The Most High has different levels of exposing truth to his children, right? When we're hard-headed, he brings calamity and problems, right? That's why in uh, Corinthians 11, 1 Corinthians 11, it says that if we judge ourselves, we won't be judged. But when we're judged, and the when we're judged came uh, from uh, because we didn't. Beverly, good to see you all. But that means we didn't. You know, he said, so, you know, judge yourself, you be not judged. Uh, for when you are judged, you're chastened of the most high so you won't be condemned with the world. <clears throat> That's when he'll bring calamity and, and, and trouble to you, right? So look what it says. <clears throat> it says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Because you got a lot of people that live in sin, yet they, they, they say they have fellowship with the Most High. Are you that person? Because if you're not, you definitely know plenty of people that do. They, they do not obey him, yet let them tell it, them and the Most High is best friends, <clears throat> right? 
let them tell if they're a servant, they're a prophetess or a prophet or a watchman or a preacher or a teacher. Yeah, they, they got a high hopes, but it don't line up. Look what it say, y'all. First John 1 and 6. If we say that we have fellowship with Yah and walk in darkness, what's darkness, y'all? That's sin. You're living in sin. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, look what the words say. We lie. We lying. It's, it's not true. If, if we say that we have fellowship with the Most High and, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. We're not. We're not. You know what? Do the truth mean? Living it. You're, you're not living the truth. You're doing what you want to do. You're not doing what he tells you to do. You do what you want to do. <clears throat> that is the gateway again. I'm, I'm redundant, y'all. But that's the gateway uh, to uh, a deception. Be not deceived. Y'all is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh reap corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, you, you'll, reap, you, you'll reap life everlasting. <clears throat> Rhonda, good to see you on, young lady. Matiyahu in the building. If we say, if we say that we have fellowship with him, you got a cigarette? How many of y'all got a cigarette? Raise your hands, you got a cigarette. I'm not, I'm not raising my hand because I got a cigarette. He said, don't defy the temple. Right? How many, how many of y'all smoke cigarettes and say you with him? How, how many of y'all getting drunk? And it's not a sin to drink. It's a, be not drunk with wine, wearing this excess, but be filled with the spirit. Be filled with the ruah, y'all. If we say, who you sleeping with? Is it lawful before y'all? If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we're lying. And do not the truth. You're not living it. Watch this. But if we walk in the light, <clears throat> as he is in the light, where is the most high, y'all? He's in the light. You want to go deeper? He is the light. Read uh, John Yachana 1. Yeah, he, he is the light. And Yachana, right? John the Mercer, Yachanan the Mercer, John the Baptist was sent to bear witness of the light. And the light was the word. The word made flesh, right? But if but if we walk in the light, the light um is the word. The light shines on us, right? We were in darkness. We were sinners, right? The light of the word reveals our lifestyle to us because the most high already know. The light come to show you your shortcomings, right? And once the light come and show you that you talk too much, that you hold grudges, that you're lustful, that you're funny style, that you think you're better than other people, right? When the light shine on you, and you walk in it, that means that it convicted you, and you repented, and now you're obeying the word. The light of the word shines on us, right? James talk about the mirror, the, the mirror of the word, right? The, the law of liberty, the law of freedom, the, the mirror of the word, right? Because <clears throat> the word will show you your reflection. The word will show you anything wrong with you. It will reveal it, and you'll be able to look into the mirror of the word and see yourself. <clears throat> That's the light. But if we walk in the light, right? If we walk in the word, Don Deems, good to see you, young lady. If we walk in the word, right? We're walking in the word, and what it will do is show you you because he's trying to save us. He's trying to rescue us from ourselves. So he'll speak to you. Right? He'll speak to you and he's going to show you you. 
you notice how <clears throat> when um, Adam sinned in the beginning, he had all three of them there. Adam, his wife, and the snake, the serpent, right? Right? And whatever role they had, the word spoke directly to them on what they did wrong and on their, their punishment. That's what the word does, right? <clears throat> but if we walk in the light, the word is revealing ourselves to ourselves, right? Remember that song, it's not my mother nor my father, but it's me, oh y'all, standing in the need of prayer. Because <clears throat> the word will shine the light on you and reveal to you what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the word, the word would shine a light. It's like um, <clears throat> I owe you money, and I'm not gonna give it to you, but I want you to get a job because I'm not gonna give it to you. And since you refuse to get a job, then I feel justified by not giving you the money that I owe you. That's how deceitful the mind is, right? But if we walk in the light, right? <clears throat> if we walk in the word, as the most high is in the word, he is the word. If we walk in the light, what exposes us, right? If we walk in the light as he's in the light, <clears throat> he's in the light. But if we walk in the light as he's in the light, he is the light. We have fellowship one with another. Those that are in the body, that's the fellowship. We're, we're, we were baptized into his body. Now we're members in particular of the one body. And, and in Colossians, it says the Mashiach, the Messiah, is the head of the body. So the head is where your brain is, where the thoughts come from. We're members in particular. It's not our thoughts. He didn't make us the head. He put he made us body members because we're supposed to carry out the orders that come from the head. What gives us fellowship is the word. We're on one accord. That's how deep the fellowship is. We're on one accord. Why? Because we're allowing the mind that was in the Messiah to be in us. Philippians, the second chapter, right? Right? We're, we're allowing his mind to run our life. We're, we're allowing the, the mind of the word to dictate our life, which leads us to eternal life. <clears throat> but if we walk in the light, we're in the light of the word, right? As he is in the light, that's what gives us fellowship. That's what causes us to be on one accord. It's no private interpretation, according to Peter. Kiefer is his real name. But there's no private interpretation. I can't come up with my own righteousness and you come up with yours. No, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 1, 10 says, I'm begging you by the name of Yahushua that you all speak the same thing and that there be no division among you. So that's perfect fellowship. How could we, how could we, 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 we be on one, one accord on that level? Because what you thought about it don't matter and what I thought about it don't matter because we're going to do what the word say do. The, the word is going to be the final judge, Right? But if we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship. Now, now you and I are on the same page. We, we, neither one of us cussing and smoking cigarettes. Neither one of us is getting drunk and on drugs. Neither one of us is cheating on our spouses. Neither one of us. We all showing up and doing what he called us to do. We're all in support of the things of the most high. Yeah. We all are. What I say on the one, I say on the all. That's fellowship. To be a part of the same body, the same body is maximum fellowship. Your body is, is in fellowship. My hands and my mouth, my eyes, my ears, everything is working on one accord right now so I can bring forth the word. If my arms start tripping or my eyes start tripping, then my body is not on one accord. That means something wrong. Yeah, but if we walk in the light, as he's in the light, we're walking in the word, the, the light of the word, right? If we, walk in, if we walk in the light of the word, 
as he is in the light of the word. That's what gives us fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahushua, Hamashiach, his son cleanses us from all sin. Right? The, the son is, is the body that the word lived in. And, and, and the blood of the son died on that tree for our sins. Because the wages of sin is death. He, 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 he suffered that death in our stead. He suffered that death for us. And because of that, we're able to be baptized into his body where, where the light is, the light of the word. And now we have fellowship because we all under the influence of the word. That's what gives us fellowship. I'm talking about true fellowship. I'm not talking about being in the same room together. Y'all remember that song? Your body's here with me, but your mind is on the other side of town. You messing me around? Not talking about that. Not talking about uh, folks that's not on the same page, but they all gathered in one room. I'm talking about we have the perfect fellowship of harmony and we're functioning to be the light of the world like the Mashiach was when he was in the world. His body is still here and we're baptized in it. It wasn't degraded. That's why folks be hollering, I'm not Jesus. You know, I'm not Yahushua. You know, you, you baptize in his body. He the one making decisions still. Just because he died on that tree and rose again don't mean it was reduced. So now the Most High is running around here with a bunch of scandalous sinners. It don't work like that. That's why 1 Corinthians 6 say every sin that a man committeth is without the body. You're not in the body sinning because there's no sin in the body. When you're baptized into his body, you're, 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 you're walking in the light. You're walking in the light as he's in the light. And that's what gives us fellowship one with another. Because we're all under the influence of the word. What I say on the one, I say on the all. We're all governed by the word. We, we all laid our opinions down. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. We laid our opinion down. <clears throat> How we feel about it. Who was Paul? Paul, Paul was a tent maker. Paul's a tent maker, so I guess I need to make tents. If I don't make tents, you're not going to support the ministry. But if we walk in the light, listen. But if we walk in the word, the spirit of the word, right? But if we walk in the light as he's in the light, he's in the light, right? But if we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship. We got fellowship. We got fellowship one with another because his word is what gives us that perfect fellowship. What I say on the one, I say on the all. Living truth is for all of us, period. No, Ain't no exceptions. Ain't nobody on no special sin pass. It, it don't work like that. If, if we if we walking in, in, in the light of the word, as he is in the light of the world, word, he actually is the light of the word, <laughs> We have fellowship. That's what gives us fellowship. We're in his body and there's rules and regulations to be in his body. Every sin that a man committed is without the body and he that committed fornication sins against his own body. But you're definitely not sinning against his body because you're not. if you commit sin, you're out the body. But if we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship one with another. We got fellowship. One with another, and the blood of Yahushua, his son, cleanses us from all sin. My brother, my brother, B-Fade, was taken up for me in this feed that this dude, you know, accused me of learning Hebrew through the lexicon, right? He has no idea. In fact, he, he's wrong, right? But I, I ain't even addressing it, right? But I appreciated my, my brother, Fade, you know, the dude said I'm a fraud and all that, right? But, but, but Fade was, like, taken up for me, and he went on major attack mode, as if salvation is predicated on me knowing Hebrew or not. And, and me and Matty Yahoo been taking Hebrew. We got the books and all, the whole nine yards with a prolific uh, Hebrew teacher. Prolific, right? Um, the guy don't know that. And I didn't tell him because his spirit not right. But on social media, he was like, like blasting me. You know what I mean? And I just didn't have nothing to say. And then you got people that don't know 
when you got the Ruah, you're supposed to operate in the spirit of love. And then you should know the parameters, the, the what, what it takes to be saved. You should know, you know, whether I know Greek or Hebrew or not, I need to be living it. I need to be walking in, in the spirit of love and truth. You know how many people say they don't, don't, don't know Hebrew and Greek and, and other languages? But it's the Ruah. The letter killer is the Ruah. It's his spirit to get life. But anyway, <clears throat> thanks, b <B-fay. laughs> But if we walk in the light, right? Listen, when you walk in the light of the word, because the word dictates how you live. You don't dictate how you live anymore. You've been bought with a price, and it's good that you were bought. Because when we were in control, we were on our way to hell. We was on our way to damnation. We was on our way to destruction. But he took the will. And now you, you're on your way to eternal life. But if we walk in the light, if we walk in it, because the, because the light of the word will reveal to you your shortcomings. And then if you walk in it, that means you're going to uh, make the necessary adjustments through the power of the word. It's the power of the word that gives you the ability to make the adjustments. And your willingness to obey the word over your agenda is the key. For, to, for you to believe the word is the right way, the best way for your life, gives the, the word power to change your life. If you believe you doing it your way and not the word's way, then the word will not give you the power. The power comes after your willingness to submit to it. When the word comes and you're willing to humble yourself on what the word tells you to do, when you humble yourself, then comes the power to do it. I'm sleeping with somebody I ain't got no business sleeping with, right? And the word come and reveal that to me. But I like it so much. I like them so much. I'm so in lust with them that I say, I can't do that. Well, then you can't do that. But if if, if I'm walking in the light and then the light reveals to me, oh, you sleep with someone you're not supposed to be sleeping with. My willingness to say, yes, I'll obey. My willingness to say, yes, I'll obey. Then it's supplied the power from the word to give me the ability to obey. If I say no, then the power ain't coming. In my carnal nature, I don't have the power. But me submitting to the word, me submitting to truth, I talk too much, I cuss too much. I'm too arrogant, I'm too prideful. The word will reveal that. And once I say, you know what, word, you're right. Yah, you're right, because Yah is the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with Yah, the word was Yah. Yah is the word. And I say yes to Yah, I'm saying yes to the word. Then Yah, a.k.a. the word, will supply me with the power to, to stop filthy communications from coming out of my mouth. Stop me from lying, stop me from lusting, stop me from doing wickedness. But if we walk in the light, right? As he is in the light, that's what gives us fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahushua, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Watch, look at this. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. This letter was written to the, dealing with the Gnostic religion. And the Gnostic religion uh, believed that though they're sinning, they're not sinful. They're not sinners. Because of the knowledge that they have. It's almost like one saved, always saved. It's like that, that sinner saved by grace state of mind. That's where the origin of that state of mind comes from the Gnostic of false religion. That when a person believes that though they're sinning, they're still in good right, they're in right standings with the Most High based on them knowing Jesus, they believe. Yeah, and Jesus did it all. They believe Jesus did it all. We're all sinners saved by grace, so they live in sin, but yet they're on their way to heaven. That's like a Gnostic religion. So with that being said, there were some people that believed they didn't need the Messiah because they were like, we don't have no sin. We got the knowledge of the Most High. If we say if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in You need the Mashiach, period. That's why it says uh, uh, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another in the blood of Yahushua. That, 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 that's where the salvation started. The blood of Yahushua, his son, cleanses us from all sin. It's through the blood of Yahushua. And if you believe you don't need him, then you have no sin, you deceive yourselves, right? If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. So here we go. To walk in the light is to be, be become guilty, because the first thing the light going to do is show you your own filth, your own sin. 
is going to reveal your own sin to you, straight personal, tailor-made suit, straight personal uh, earmark for you. It's going to expose you. It's going to expose you. But if we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship the one with another, and the blood of Yahushua his son cleanses us. It cleanses us. How? We're going to submit to the word, and we're going to walk in the light. When, when it's exposed, we're going to walk in it. And if you say you have no sin, go a little deeper. People be having sin and say they don't. How can he help you if you won't even admit you're wrong? He can't, and he's not. He's not going to go against your will. If you can't admit you're wrong, then you're going to stay wrong. That's what he was telling the Pharisees, y'all. They was up there, we have no need of a physician. He said, okay, well then since you don't have no need of a physician, you keep your sins. You keep them then. You good? You you comfortable, huh? You like how you living? The word that shined on you to show you your shortcomings, and you don't want to admit it, then, then now you're deceived. That's where that strong delusion come in. You're not going to admit you wrong, huh? You got a reason for cheating on your spouse, huh? how they treat you and all that, and you were lonely and vulnerable, whatever little excuse you, you done made for yourself of why you won't do what the Most High told you to do, why you don't fellowship like you should, why you don't support like you should, like the Word told you to, right? But if we walk in the light, right, we're walking according to the truth of the Word as it reveals any shortcomings in our lives, it will reveal. We're walking in perfection as long as we're obeying all the Word we know. As the Word reveals, we do, we're still walking in perfection. We could still be doing something, for the lack of a better term, that's wrong, right? But our conscience isn't bothering us because we don't know. But once the word reveal it, right? That's why the word says, uh, to him to know if to do good and do it not, to him it is sin, right? You have a clear conscience towards the most high because whatever he revealed to you that you're doing wrong, you're willing to change it. And he'll always be revealing more to you concerning you where you can improve. And as he revealed to you, you do it, right? To whom much is given, much is required. He'll keep giving you more and much will be more, more required. There, you, you'll be required to walk more in his will. He'll be able to use you more as a vessel of honor and not dishonor. Listen, y'all. But if we walk in the light, look what the words say. As he's in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahushua, uh, his son cleanses us from our sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, this is the key. And that's not easy for people. If we admit when we're wrong. I was talking to somebody the other day and, and they were saying like, you know, they, they have to admit when they're wrong. Even the platform, they're right. But if, if they handle it wrong, if they handle it wrong, the most high will reveal it to them. If we confess our sins, if, if we're honest, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. But what happens if we don't confess our sins? We can't admit when we're wrong. So the world will keep calming at you, trying to get you to admit it. Because if you don't admit it, you can't judge yourself. And if you don't judge yourself, he's going to judge you and whoop your tail. Why? So you won't be condemned with the world. If we confess us, I believe that's 1 Corinthians 11, what, 33? Something like that in that area. 31? I don't know. Y'all go look. If we confess our sins, right? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The goal is to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Unlike false doctrine, sinners saved by grace. Uh, unrighteousness is sin, y'all. And this is saying he'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In other words, he said, I'll cleanse you from all sin. You'll be a vessel of honor, meet for the master's use. He'll be able to use you as an example in these last and evil days. That's why the word says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. How do we lift him up? We cleanse from sin and live it. People be able to see our good works and magnify our father, which is in heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, right? If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and the word is not in us. Here we go. That's that Gnostic, Gnostic religion. I got this knowledge. I ain't got no sin. Sylvester Allen, good to see you on, sir. 
Hallelujah. We in it, Beverly. We're trying to get it out. If we confess our sins, if we're honest, right? If we confess our sins, he is faithful. And just to forgive us, just come clean. It'd be super hard for people to admit when they're wrong. Super hard. Super. Especially in marriages. Spouse be feeling justified, boy. Huh? But, but folks, it's hard. If, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him alive. Listen, listen. We all need the Mashiach. Because it's his blood that cleanses us from all sin. The weight of sin is death. His blood represents the death. The, li uh, 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 the life is in the blood. He gave up his blood. He gave up his life because of our sins. We need that. And if we say we have not sinned, like I'm good, I got this knowledge. I got Jesus. Jesus did it all. That's a funny doctrine if y'all really peep it because it sounds right. To a religious-minded person, that sounds right. But you got to do something. You got to repent. You got to, the words told you to mortify the deeds of the flesh. That means to kill it. See, Jesus did it all. No, you kill it. He said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. You deny yourself. Blesses the man that endured temptation. You endure temptation. For when he is tested and tried, yeah, you got to be proven that you're going to obey him over your flesh. Yeah. Yeah, Yahushua did his part. Yahushua did his part. Yeah. He lived a perfect example, died on a tree, and then he baptized himself inside of you, giving you the power to walk away from sin if you choose to. Because the power to walk away from sin is in the word. He said, let there be light and there was light. Where did the power come from? The word. There's power in the word, bottom line. If he told you don't commit adultery, there's power not to commit adultery in him telling you not to commit adultery if you only believe. Do you believe? <laughs> then you can stop committing adultery. You can stop committing fornication. You can stop cussing. You can stop getting drunk and high. He'll deliver you from defiling your temple. Put them cigarettes down. If we say that we have not sinned, you know you need them, don't you? If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. No, you sinned. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Can you admit that? If we say that we have not sinned, oh, I'm cool. I don't bother nobody. You know what I mean? As long as they don't bother me, I mind my own business. You's a sinner. Think what you want to think. And you, and you need the Messiah. Bad. You need Yah in your life. You need the creator. And we were born in sin. Mankind is a fallen species, and we needed to be rescued. So the Most High was willing to come down 75 generations to be born of a virgin to rescue us. That's how he became our kinsman redeemer. He became our kinfolk. Now I'm talking directly to Israel in the flesh. And through faith, you can be adapt, adopted into the family. Adapted, yep, yeah, adopted. You're adapted because you were adopted. Is that fair? Yeah. If we say that we have not sinned, yes, you did. You were born in it. We make him a lie and the word's not in us. But those of us that got the word, the gospel came to Bessaray and revealed our sinful nature to us and all the stuff we was doing wrong. And we decided, man, I don't want to live like this. I want to be sad. I don't want to be religious. I, I don't want to be religious. Judah can sing too. Yahuda can sing. But it's way deeper than singing. Doing a hand bone and singing. Come on, somebody. We got to repent. We got to repent. We, 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 we got to... We, 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 we're lying if we say we, we, we got him and we walking in darkness. Six verse, y'all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. It's time for us to do the truth. It's time us, if you want to say you got fellowship with the Most High, you got to do it. It's not to hear the word that's justified, it's to do it. We got to do it. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in sin, the darkness of sin, we're lying to ourselves. You're deceived, and we need to cut it out. Get that false doctrine out your head. I know it's preached all over the place. I know it is. But cut it out. Let that go. You should know the truth, and the truth should make you free. Free from the lie. That's a lie. Repent. Walk away from all sin. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the light as he's in the light, and we'll have fellowship with another.
The body will bring us together to have fellowship with each other. And we'll be fighting for the same cause. We'll be fighting the good fight of faith to lay hold on to eternal life, y'all. Is that all right? Do the truth. Don't just say it. Don't just talk about it, walk about it, be about it. Is that all right? Y'all with that? Me too. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Help me to know how gleaning in the truth of your word, that word is truth. We need you desperately. We need your word. We need you. Save us even from ourselves. Give us revelation concerning ourselves. The word come and wash us up and the clean us up. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 you know, Jeremiah uh, uh, says that the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Not only is it deceitful, but it's desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yah, you know it and deliver us from it. Send the word to calm our heart, to purify us. And we will carefully give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all things. That was the lesson for uh, this morning. I pray it was a blessing. Hallelujah. If you're blessed by the word, and I pray you were, uh, feel free to push the like button or the love button, whichever one uh, exemplifies how you feel in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, right on, uh, Beverly. Bless you. Um, hallelujah, uh, uh, Trinda, always a pleasure. Y'all push the share button. Y'all push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as, as well. Share your platforms with the truth of the word. Somebody's watching. I'm telling you, you're touching. So every time you push the share button, you're touching somebody in your, in your sphere. And that's a blessing because they need the word too. In fact, y'all started inviting. Y'all started inviting uh, friends and family to chime on in with us. So we can all grow together because uh, he's trying to get us ready, hallelujah, for for that great day. Is that all right? Those of you that support the ministry, um, I, I know the only reason why you do it because the, the truth of the word is supporting you, period. And, and the word teaches not to muzzle out the mouth or the ox to tread out the corn. For us to be able to do our job effectively, you want to you wanna be given to it. That's what the word teaches. Yeah, you want to be given. You want to you wanna be given the ministry. And be able to, you know, not only teach it and preach it, but to live it and do it. And you guys help me do exactly, exactly that. Those of you that are spiritually benefiting from the ministry um, and, and, and is growing and would like to uh, reciprocate, would like to not muzzle the mouth of the ox, turn out the corn, it's my job to tell you how, right? If you got the cash app, just put in dollar sign, donate to Derek. That's donate the number two, D-E-R-R-I-C-K. Is the new cash app um, donate to Derek? Um, also, you can just go on my Facebook page, Yahuda Israel. Um, obviously, you're already in there right now, right? But anyway, go in there inside of Messenger, and there's a giving button inside of there. We're about to get on the line, talk about the lesson, and pray together. If you want to join us, all you got to do is dial 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Again, 302 202. 1102 extension 815648 um, keep that number because we plan to pray at noon if you want to pray with us and we plan to uh, double back at 7pm which if y'all say the same I'll teach a full lesson is that alright y'all continue to pray for us and we pray for you y'all be Baruch and Baruch Shalom I'm gone how we do this